Many people don't realize that the Mediterranean is a watershed of three continents, Africa, Asia and Europe. Italy, as you know, is this boot-shaped peninsula which sticks out into the Mediterranean. Apulia, the heel of the boot, is the land of tarantella dances. All kinds of things from all over the Mediterranean Sea wash upon the Apulian shore, carried by deep currents, like the one that jets from Spain to Algeria across the Mediterranean. Or further east, the deep but narrow current that winds and fans out horizontally as it approaches the island of Sardinia. Two jets join passionately like long-locked lovers just south of Corsica to form the powerful Catalan current. These unstable currents create eddies many miles wide which meander up the coast, sometimes helping, sometimes hindering the mariners. Cyclonic eddies stares the sea for days, but anticyclonic eddies churn for weeks, even months in the depths, making smooth and direct navigation almost impossible. The ancient sailors knew that open sea eddies often alter the expected currents, channeling the waters into unstable and unpredictable patterns, particularly in the waters of Sicily. Angulars and merchants from Illyria, Crete, Egypt and Greece braved these currents to establish colonies and settlements on the Italian coast. They sought abroad grapes and goats, linen and lavender. Their ships carried gold and tin, cheese and salt, olive oil, wine and purple cloths. And wherever they went, their songs, stories and dances came with them. The Italian Tarantella Pizzica dance resembles some of the dances for women of the Dionysian festivals in ancient Greece and Egyptian dance Zar. But all types of Tarantella take their name from the large, hairy spider, the Tarantula, named after Taranto, a town in Apulia, at the instep of the heel of Italy. It was thought throughout the region that the bite of the tarantula had a particular venom. It was believed that if it bit you, you could become drowsy, go unconscious, or even die. Yes, they believed it could be fatal. They considered that the venom of the spider actually changes day by day, hour to hour. The bite affects you differently depending on what time of the day you are bitten. Some victims sing, others laugh, some weep, while others cry out on and on. At times, in the trance of the Tarantella Pizzica, women laugh in deep men's voices using uncharacteristic body language and boasting. At times, the Tarantella poison would provoke passion for particular colors. Some would begin to fancy red, yellow or other colors. Others would be drawn to blue. 